Hi, let us see how to set up a new user in Oracle Flow Builder. In Oracle Flow Builder login page, click on the link register. Enter the username. Enter the full name. Enter the email ID. Select the approver. Enter the password. Re-enter the password. Click on register. The registration request would go to the administrator for approval. Login as administrator. The five recent notifications would be visible in the home page. Alternatively, we can navigate to the notifications using the notification link. Click on the notification requires approval for the new user. Here we would need to select the appropriate application role. We have the application roles admin, approver and contributor. Admin user has all the admin privileges for Oracle Flow Builder. Approver user can approve all the new user registrations for Oracle Flow Builder. A contributor user can perform all the operations in Oracle Flow Builder except administrative operations. We would be selecting contributor and click on approve. Now the new user request is approved. Let us log in as the new user. Enter the new user credentials. Click on login. After registering, we need to request for the product family access. Select the required product family and click on request access. The request for approval has been sent to the product family administrator. Let us log in as administrator and approve the request. We can go to the notification. Click on the notification request for access on product family. Here we need to select the role for the particular user. We have owner A, contributor M, owner M and contributor A. Owner A is the IT user who can create, update, approve or delete components, component sets and flows. Contributor A is the IT user who can create or update components, component sets and flows. Owner M is the business user who can create or update component sets and flows. Owner M can also create the component header, but he will not be able to create the component code. Contributor M will be able to create or update component sets and flows and will also have access to create the component header but will not be able to create the component code. We also have a viewer role. A viewer would have a view access to all the product families. We would be selecting the contributor A for this particular user and click on approve. Now the request is approved. Alternatively, we can assign a product family directly to a user using the administration tab. Click on administration. Navigate to product family access controls users. Click on Add. Select the user. Select the product family. Here we are selecting Supply Chain Management. Select the role we would like to assign. Contributor A. And click on Save. Product family is assigned to the guest user. Let's log in as the new user.
we can see two product families assigned procurement and supply chain management and contributor A represents the role. Now let us see how to configure the mail server for notifications. Login with administrator credentials. Click on administration. Click on mail server. Enter the mail server host. Enter the mail server port. And enter the send email as. This would be the email ID from which we would be getting the notifications. Click on save. The mail settings are saved. This is how we can set up a new user in Oracle Flow Builder. For any queries or additional information, please contact us on these email IDs. Thank you.